Hey guys, Domestic here, and today I'm going to go over most of the new 1.3 features which will be coming in the next console update. These are all confirmed from the Terraria wiki. I'll have that link in the description, I'm using that as my source, so let's get right into this. Okay, so we have revamped town NPCs. They now sit, avoid monsters, socialize, avoid sitting near chests, and fight back against threats. Chests, um, the chest open and close is now animated. You can now join multiplayer games through Steam, but that won't apply for console. Neither will the next one. Achievements have already been on that. Let's see. Character select menu has been revamped to show additional character information. Screen capture mode, I'm not sure if this will be in it. Um, abilities while mounting have been enhanced, so you can now fish and attack while mounted. Added the option to disable blood and gore. You can now find the Skeleton Merchant Underground, he's a brand new NPC. There are several new appearance options during character creations. Enemy banners now empower players, meaning if you have a banner nearby and an enemy, you'll do more damage. Whilst new keep track of the amount of enemies that have been killed and reward banner kills for every 50 kills. Every 50th kill of a certain enemy, you will get a pop up and a banner. Anglers always the angler MEC always award, rewards money. You can now remove remove spawn points by right clicking your bed. You can now get fishing rewards for every five turn ins versus the previous requirement of ten. The game will now tell you how much money you dropped upon death. The player's last death location is now shown on the map. Strange plants can now be located and given to the die trader for new die reward. Information accessories now work on the player's inventory. Dresses can now be used as chests, clicking the top part of the dresser. You can now purchase items using all money in your character storage, including money in your inventory, piggy bank and safe. You can now hammer traps to change the direction of fire. Deleting a world or character will now move it to the recycle bin versus permanent deletion. Okay, that one, that one will count. Added minecart mount pet and grappling hook slots. Bosses now have minimap icons. Bubbles and lava immunity bars now appear above your head. Added the ability to favourite items in your hotbar or your inventory. Added an inventory button to quick stack to all nearby chests. Quick stack now creates new stacks in your chest for items you have in your inventory if applicable. The die system has been overhauled to improve the general appearance of all dies. Crafting grid button now has new graphics for toggling. Smart Cursor now also works for Paintbrush, Paint Roller, Paint Scraper, Buckets, Alchemy, Acorns and Actuators. Platforms will now automatically place as stairs if placed appro appropriately using Smart Cursor. You can now right click clickable tires when the mouse is hovering on the Smart Cursor so that will be the controller. The dryer will sometimes chart making the spot underneath her glow leaves flow in a circle around her. And the player is inside the leaf circle, it gives the buff Dryad's Blessing. This, add eight this adds 8 defense. Added a new game mode called Expert Mode. Expert Mode can now be toggled in World Creation menu. You stay dead longer before being able to respawn during Expert Mode. Boss health scales and multiplayer depend on the number of players. Weaker enemies gain increased stats as the player progresses starting in hard mode. You drop 75% of all your coins upon death. Enemies can pick up your gold when you die attempting to run off with it. Kill them to retrieve your loot. Monsters have a small chance to spawn in town. Some normal enemies have been given new AI. Bosses have been given new AI. Bosses will drop treasure, treasure bags containing powerful expert exclusive items. Pots will now drop more items when broken. Ice monsters gain an additional chance to freeze upon hitting the player. Quests give rewards give more money. Bats have a chance to give the new Feral Bite debuff. Life regen isn't as effective unless the player has the well fed buff. Vampire and Spectre healing is slightly less effective than in normal mode. The defense statistic is more effective than in normal mode. This is events part. Invasion events now have a progress bar. The new randomly triggered slime rain event is now included. The Goblin Invasion event has been graphically update and, uh, updated and there's a new mini boss in hard mode. The Pirate Invention, uh, I can't speak. The Pirate Invasion has a new mini boss, the Flying Dutchman. The Blood Moon has a new graphical effect as well as several new enemies. The Solar Eclipse can now be triggered with the Solar Tablet summoning item 
This event has also had seven new, several new enemies and rewards. The new Martian Madness event can be triggered up, triggered after the player defeats Gollum. Cultists will now begin to spawn outside the dungeon after the player defeats Gollum. Defeating them will start at the beginning of the end, which, you know, is just the whole celestial lunar event. This is about crafting. You can now craft items from a chest while it's open without having to place its contents within the in the player inventory. There is a new alchemy table that has a chance to reduce potion crafting cost. Crafting wooden arrows now gives 10 per recipe instead of 5. Their cost has been reduced to 5 copper each. You can now craft bone platforms. Greater healing potions now cost left to cr less to craft. Holy water is now slightly easier to craft. You can now craft Cursed, Demon, Frost, Icor and Ultra Bright Living Fire Blocks. You can now craft Ginger Change Potions. You can now craft the Wormhole Potion. This allows you to teleport to any player on your team by clicking them on the map. You can now craft Honey Fall Blocks and Walls. You can now craft Chlorophyte Bricks and Walls. You can now craft Crimtain Bricks and Walls. You can now craft Shroomite Plating and Walls. Beanades can now be crafted. Water candles can now be crafted. Ugh, this is a lot. Hey, let's carry on. You can now craft crispy honey blocks. You can now craft sun plate blocks and disc walls. You can now craft the key of light and the key of night. Pink gel and several items that are crafted from pink gel have been added. You can now craft magic water droppers. You can now craft meteorite bricks, walls and furniture. You can now craft granite and marble furniture. Marsh Martian furniture has now been at crafted. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. Martian furniture can now be crafted. You can now craft enchanted nightcrawlers. Lowered the cost of the meteor gear. The space gun now only requires meteorite bars. Crimtain and demonite bars now cost 3 ore. You can now craft tar target dummy to test your damage per second. Avenger emblems are now crafted from any emblems and all 3 for hard mode boss souls. Neptune's shell is no longer craftable and is only dropped from the creature from the deep, which is a new enemy in the solar eclipse. Reduce the crafting of the rainbow rod, fairy bell, and magical harp. Broken hero sword is no longer needed to craft the terror blade. You can now craft spectra bars. Fireplaces and chimneys are now craftable. Phase sabers are now crafted at a missile angle. This part is called miscellaneous. Some monsters now have a dedicated sound for their deaths, for example, vultures now play a new sound when they're killed. Platforms now stack to 999. NPC item drops will disappear within a few minutes if you don't pick it up. A new friendly NPC, the tax collector, will join if you sprinkle pur pur <laughs> I can't say it. Pur purification powder on the tortured soul, which is a new enemy which spawns in your underground, in your underworld. You can now revert platforms back to their original materials via crafting. Corrupt and crimson trees now drop acorns. Coins are now animated. You can now automatically break stone piles when trying to place things over them. There are now visual cracks shown on solid blocks and trees to show when they have been hit. You can now hover over signs to read them versus having to click on them. Revamped liquid networking code to be much le less laggy in multiplayer. I don't think that one would count for console but it could. Pots now drop more money based on the type of pot. Pots will now drop an additional 10% more money for every boss and invasion you defeat. Living wood chests will now also contain a living wood wand and a leaf wand. You, you no longer take damage while on the bunny mount. Copper, iron, silver and gold have all been given new ore textures. The axe now has a 1 in 50 chance to drop from plant error, previous is 1 in 200. Voodoo demons now spawn more often. Golden critters now have a chance to spawn, these sell for 10 gold coins each. Event enemies now run away when the event is over. NPCs now only load their textures when they get in screen rage, range, so this could actually this could then prevent a lot of lag. <coughs> Setting the window- that one, that one probably won't count, let's skip this one. Rain has been optimised. Bees can fall through platforms. Smart wall is now properly blocked by doors even if they're open. Undead miners now have a chance to drop mining helmets. Tim is more likely to spawn if you need his hat, meaning if you wear any type of gem robe, he has a very higher chance of spawning. I think a 1 in 50 chance. <sighs> 
let's carry on. <laughs> There's a lot here. Critters now have a sell price. Well-fed birth times have been increased. Wyverns or wyverns, I've never been able to pronounce them properly, spawn more frequently if there's a water candle buff in effect. Fixed health bar issues for wyvern and destroyer. Players now spawn with half their life in player if the player's max health is greater than 5 hearts. The painted NPC now shows up after 8 NPCs in town, rather than 4. The party girl NPC now only shows up if there are 14 NPCs instead of 8. The die trader NPC now only shows up after defeating any of the easy mode bosses. Change the spawn order of... I can't... <laughs> let me try that one again. Change the spawn order for town NPCs so that the more important ones spawn first. Chlorophyte can now grow bigger in bigger chunks. Life root can spawn closer together now. King Slime can now move through platform. Improved summoned minions attack AI. Unicorns are more likely to spawn if a water candle buff is in effect. Some underworlds and drops are now a little more common. Angry Nimbus more likely to spawn. You can now find crim Crimson Corruption and Hallow Large Mimics. Spiders can now move through platforms. You can no longer grapple while frozen. Sky, Sky Quest Fish can no longer be found on the surface. Reduce the number of water tiles needed to fish successfully in the sky. Hornets and walkers will no longer shoot while you are stealthed. Uh, I, can't, I can't scroll down. Uh, oh, here we go. <clears throat> Underground houses have been redesigned. Coin portals have a chance to spawn after breaking pots, which give you a random amount of gold coins. Blink root growth has been slowed down. Day bloom growth has been sped up. It now it now takes longer for weeds to grow in clay pots. Meteorites spawn in larger chunks. Damage dealt by others in multiplayer now appears faded versus normal damage numbers. Weapon Imbus now lasts 20 minutes and persists persist through death. I don't really understand what that one means, but... Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> Increase some of the spawn rates for the rare hard mode dungeon monsters. Dungeon, dungeon necromancers are like slightly like le <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sorry. I just get so I get so I muddle some words up when I read a lot of stuff. Let's try that one again. <coughs> dungeon necromancers are like are less likely to teleport when hit. Frost armor is now crafted from titanium and adamantite bars rather than ha revert corruption or crimson spread. It also turns nearby dirt to mud. Equipment slots now display a picture of the slot's purpose. Dig fish rod now enranges when you leave the ocean. Pygmies now have a chance to inflict poison and venom. Pygmies now have a larger rain and, and the first projectile thrown will always pierce rather than getting stuck. King Slime can now teleport when not in range of the player for over 5 seconds. This part will be going over items. There are over 800 new items to discover. There are new powerful items waiting to be fished up in the underground Crimson Corruption and Hallow whilst in hard mode. These are the Blade Tongue, Toxicarp and Crystal Serpent respectively. All 2x2 two two items can now be placed on tables. Item stack size are now universal. Wooden minecarts are now the default minecart. Added several yo-yos, yo -yos, string accessories and counterweights. Oh, um. Uh, my my um, website has just crashed. Um. Oh, there we go. Several items have had graphical updates. Lots of new banners have been added. Signs and tombstones can now be placed on tables. Staff of regrowth has been greatly improved. The range of wrenches and wire cutters has been boosted. Slightly buffed the damage of the musket. The titanium armor invincibility armor effect now only happens once every 30 seconds. Adamante armor can now provide four more defense. Honeyed gobble, <laughs> gobble, honeyed goggles drop chance has been increased significantly. Whoopee cushion drop chance has been increased. Bug net is only now 50 silver. Significantly boosted the speed bonus of the magic quiver. Increased the length of time for the spider turret crimson rod nimbus rod. Chests are now more likely to contain recall potions. You can now craft sticky and bouncy dynamite. 
You can now craft the sparkly, the sparky painting in the dungeon. Rips, and then it says, rest in peace sparky do. Molotov cocktails now do significantly less damage. Bottled water now stacks 999. Improved spider minion AI, they now latch onto enemies and follow the player better. Fountains now cost 4 gold each and are available as soon as you get the witch doctor. The recall potion recipe now utilises day bloom instead of death weed. Spectral fish are a bit easier to catch. Bait now lasts a bit longer. The snowball launcher and snowball cannon now have more damage and knockback. Ice blade does significant and has slightly more damage. Increased the critical hit bonus from jungle armor and ancient cobalt armor. Shiver thorn grows a little bit faster. Death weed now also blooms on full moons. Fire blossom now blooms during the evening. Ice rod is less expensive and the blocks have a longer duration. Mana potions are less expensive and stack higher. Shadow chests now contain a new item. Several new fishing rewards have been added. You can now craft specular fish in the ice biome. You can now craft no you can now fish for biome exclusive crates in their respective biome. Wooden chests contain several new items. You can now craft um what just happened? Sorry my internet's just acting up a little bit. Where where is that where's that go? Oh here we go. You can now craft a web and a silk rope. Snowballs now do more damage. Boomerangs have a smaller collision box for tiles. Dynamite's value has been lowered. Jungle bats, ice bats, and giant bats now drop the depth, me depth meter. Mother slime, snowflings, undead viking, and armored viking now drop the compass. Beach ball is now sold by the party girl. Ice boomerang and ice blade have been buffed. Baby jellyfish now have a sell price. Rotten eggs are now less common in goodie bags. Pinky has an increased chance to drop the slime star. Lesser restoration potions are now just rest restoration potions. The solidifier now drops from King Slime. Gold ring now drops from the pirate invasion. Uzi drop race ha uh, <laughs> God. Not again. Uzi drop rate has been increased. The sniper rifle now does more damage and has an increased fire rate. Venus Magnum now fires faster. Invincibility potions now give full invincibility and reduced aggro when not attacking. Adamante and Titanium Forges are now animated. Divat is now animated. You can now, cr you can now place fishing crates. Jungle grubs now fall out of jungle plants and can be used as bait. Star in a bottle now gives the mana regeneration buff. Extractinators can now be found in fishing crates. You can now place torches on platforms. Increased ant, ant lion mandible drop rate significantly. Increased mining potion duration. Sickle is sold, now sold year long. Planter boxes are now sold by the dryad. Cobalt, obsidian, mithril, adamantite, mithril brick and adamantite brick all have new textures. Fire gauntlet has been buffed. Um, oh yeah, buffed icicle and its drop rate. Increase the drop rates for most hard mode dungeon items. There is a 1 in 7 chance that a hard mode dungeon monster will spawn on any hard mode dungeon back wall. Dungeon spirit spawn has been slightly increased. Hydra and spider turret can now be placed on platforms. Keys to biome chests are now dropped instead of moulds. Biome chests can now only be opened after plant area has been defeated. Added uh, the fallen tuxedo. This is sold by the clothier on the on a blood moon. Campfires can now be turned on or off. Lizard furnace is now guaranteed loot in every jungle temple chest. Steam tongue wings are now obtainable. Staff of earth has been buffed. Golem Fist has been buffed. Xmas Tree Sword has been buffed. Flame Lash has been buffed. Spectra Staff has been buffed. Flower Power has been buffed. Frost Staff has been buffed. Trident has been buffed. KO Cannon has been buffed. Flower of Frost has been buffed. 
Flower of Fire has been buffed. Keybrand has been muff buffed. Magnet Sphere has been buffed. Possess Hatchet has been buffed. Razorblade Typhoon now uses more mana. Flame Lash and Flower of Fire now use less mana. Ice Rod blocks are now slippery. Hard Mode Ore crafted Swords and Excalibur are now auto swing and do 15% more damage. Glorified Swords have been buffed. And Bait can now be put on an ammo slot. Music. Pirate Invasion now has a new track. Underworld now has a new track. The Goblin Invasion has a new track. Added Martian Madness track. Added Lunar Event track. Added Final Boss track. Atmosphere. Added several new mini biomes to World Gem. New biome, the Underground Desert. Liquid visuals have been revamped. Sky Lakes now spawn. Added a light effect to the Glass Kiln. Slimes can now have items visible inside them that will drop when they die. Wall of Flesh now drops... Oh, sorry. He doesn't drop something new. Wall of Flesh drops will now spawn a cage of demon crimtain bricks when slain in a crimtain wall. Accessory dies now apply to particle effects spawn from them. Change player animations to be less bouncy. Trees now drop acorns alongside actual tree items. Palm trees and tops now drop acorns. The crimson has now aligned flora, vicious mushrooms, vicious powder, and crimtain thorns. Game default cave parallax is now 60 rather than 0. NPCs will not climb stairs into another room anymore. Goblins can now have gore unique to each goblin. Improved NPC graphics. Pig runs now appear in greater varieties. Sunflowers now glow at night and give a happy buff that reduces monster spawn spawns and increases movement speed. Heads on any map stay the same size regardless of the map size. Updated fountain graphics. You can now find marble and granite biomes underground. Dirt rod can now move through tiles when held and it's cheaper. Pine tree variations have been added to the ice biome. Honey patches will now spawn during world gen in the jungle. Ice patches will now spawn during world gen in the ice biome. Added abandoned oh, abandoned mine tracks have now been added to world gen. Added several new walls to world gen. There are now water, honey, and lava drips found in the world. They can also be placed with magic droppers. Okay, that should just about do it about the new features from 1.3. Now I know I didn't explain what the new items are. I will be going over most of these as there is about 800, I won't be doing that obviously, I'll be going over the most common and the most powerful and the end game items very soon. Um, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, and if you want to see all the bug fixes, which I don't know if these will apply for console, I'll leave the, I'll leave the, um, I can't speak, I'll leave the, I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.